Let's try to play some GTO poker in this video here. I'm jumping in the Zoom 200 pool and I'll try to play in a way that if I look hands up in a program like GTO Wizard, there won't be a single mistake. Let's see how that one goes. Queen Jack offsuit, clear, clear raise on the button. Jack 4-5, um, our hand is interested in getting two streets of value. We are only see betting smallish on the flop. Checking is fine also. I'll go for the quarter pot here. On that 10, uh, obviously a great card for us overall. I'm only using an over bet. Personally, we could use a normal size bet as well. Checking is an option as well, as we said. Uh, we're interested in two streets, so yeah, let's actually check this one back now. And against a check, we have a very easy value bet on that king. We are incredibly protected because that king hits us very well. Let's go for a four bet with ace queen. It's very high uh, frequency four bet. Sometimes calling is fine. Sometimes folding is actually fine as well. On that board, I think we can almost bet our entire range. Fits in both ranges. I'll start with a quarter pot. Block the ace 10 of diamonds and we block spades, so I'm Pretty sure we do some more damage here. I'll just keep going small, 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 as I would do with like my, my strong over pairs. That will be fine, pretty sure of that. Pocket sevens, I'm going to three bad or flat. I don't really know it, why not? Six station. Let's play a bigger pot against him then. Ace for suited, easy open raise. I think it hits him actually pretty well. Uh, I do have flushes, obviously, since the, I have all the nut flushes. And I connect with the Queen Jack 10, but he has more of the low flushes. I'll use the Min Bat to just attack his full garbage. That he obviously has as well. And our pocket 10s, we can either check or put out a small bat. Both should be fine. Slightly leaning towards the small bat, folding out some jack highs and queen highs that have equity against us. And now I actually think I prefer to keep barreling. Say my smallish bat, we don't have clear three streets of value. So checking is fine and betting this here should be fine. I'll check. I'm checking a lot on that board. And seeing the big bet already hurts a little because now he starts wrapping an ace, a smaller bet. It could be a nine or a six as well that we beat. Um, we have a clear call though, two very clean outs and still might be ahead. Uh, and on the river, I think we will have an indifferent bluff catcher that we can either call or fold. We block the 10-7, but he's more wrapping an ace if he bets. Seven, eight, all right, that makes a lot of sense. Call that too small of three bet from the big blind. We're floating here with our nut gut shot, adding something here, trying to bluff him off ace king at some point. I'm not trying to move him off kings and aces. Now that sucks. It's a good card for us. He keeps barreling. Uh, I think he has it all the time. Implies are close, but it should be a clear call in the GTO world. And if he checks the river, it's another clear jam. I hope he jams and I can fold because uh, I don't see that that bad check folds here too much. So big blind three bet, they just have it. But we are playing some GTO poker today. Pocket tens against a three bet here is actually a mix between call, fold and four bet again. We're going to call here. On the five, there might be some leading actually. If that's the case, it's only a mix. So um, checking is safe. And now we try to get some value off weaker pocket pairs and uh, ace high. So I think we are good for a quarter pot. Get the call, easy money. Ace. Eight offsuit, all right. Checks that mono board, delayed c bet on the larger side on that ace, have an easy call. I will be indifferent on the river. Once he bets, would be good to have a heart to then start calling. Tang, 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 tang. I actually don't find the bluffs here. So um, yeah, he's uncapped still, and this should be a mix. So it should be fine to fold that. Yeah, even in our GTO world. Pocket queens, let's see. Here he shouldn't have too many fours and deuces, so I can try maximize value now against his nines, tens, jacks, and so on. Yeah, let's do that. Half pot is absolutely fine and, and more the standard. This is like, we'll be fine. Just like the greed in me, the greed in me that wants uh, to get max value out of those hands that might fold on level. lots of runouts, right? Let's put the five of spades out there. I won't get stacks in, or I don't want <laughs> against jacks and tens anymore. Or a king or an ace. Eight, seven got there. Pocket sevens got there, but still nines, tens. It's good enough. Two flush draws to keep barreling. And uh, yeah, I'm not folding if he jams. We unblock all the flush draws. It will be a snap call in any solver world we live in. If he calls, it will be interesting on lots of river cards. Uh, there are not too many that we can find actually. <laughs> Eight. I'm oh, actually not sure how close that is, but we are more playing against nines, tens, I guess, than he has 8x. 8-7 suited is jamming on the turn. So there's like 8-9 suited left, two combinations that might fast play 8-9 of diamonds at some point as well. He blocks, actually, I think 
small. I think we have to rip it here. Yeah, if he checks to me, I'm jamming. So why should that change something? He's not wrapping an eight with that sizing. So let's go, hope for the best. Bottom left, we can see that smaller or we can check, both fine. Or we call a donk, all right? Raising wouldn't be out of this world, but it's definitely not the preferred option. Uh, small donk, small donk, it's my board. I have a little something, so we definitely keep going. Evaluate on the river, but probably just not folding if he goes small again. If he has an ace, he has an ace, that's okay. And he just did whatever. Pocket sevens. This time I'm going to flat here. Oh, hello. Definitely a mix here if you play with a flatting range. And as I said, I'm trying to little copy the solvers here. And now pocket sevens uh, seem like a reasonable one to check raise. Actually, we are deeper, so we size up a little. This is our small check raise. Now. King is beautiful card. We don't have too many nine, eight, like low flush stuff. Like we have more like queen, jack, jack nine suited, stuff like that. So it's actually a great card. I'll just keep firing. King overall is, I mean, not too bad for him either. I'll just go with pot. This here is a clear squeeze. Ice queen offsuit. Uh, an interesting one. We got the first caller. We got the second caller. And what about... And the third one. Alrighty. We have someone with a suit of Broadway and pockets here. We have someone with sixes, sevens, eights, and nines on the button. And then we have something with whatever on the, on the small blinds. So let's actually bet 20%. I'm super strong on that board. Cutoff needs to fold his pockets right away because of the guys behind that might have it. Maybe they just don't have it. If he calls, it might be dangerous, actually. So now I'm trying again to fold out his pockets that he might have tried one more time. I play my ace-king exactly the same way, so I'll go like something like, like that. All right, the three X and we have aces. So are we clearly going to play that one? Wow, snap, a four bet. Ace is a mix between flat and call here. The bigger his sizing is, the more we tend to jamming, the more it is a snap four bet out of under the gun. It is strong and we'll just rip it in because he will never fold. Now hoping for a king high board because, that, or here, like this. Now we made some money compared to the trap. Very important here. And yeah, pocket tens I tried. Went for the small C bet, check down now. Let's play GTO we said. So pocket tens have to be a catch here. Uh, we're just blocking value and yeah. Pocket eights, he turns it to two bluff, perfect. Thank you, GTO. Oh, woo, hello. Interestingly, it's the wrong one to slow play. Lots of people like to slow play that, but we want to bet pretty much everything on that board. Villain won't put too many bets in because he cannot have a jack, right? So it's better to slow play something like ace jack and leverage that later. We can trap or let him catch up, but um, mainly we want to play that as our jack. Half pot seems reasonable and then do whatever we would do with like a jack 10 queen jack type of hand he can have fours he can have fives he can have six seven he can go for a crazy bluff oh, race would be so nice that deep seven eight suited um three bet is fine call is fine i slightly prefer the three bet we can put out a bigger bet we can put out a smaller bet we can uh, obviously check as well going for the half pot sizing here okay the seven is a clear check and on the river he should bet every jack and he should block with eights, nines, and tens. I think this is a mix between betting and checking. He can go for some traps, but actually I like, I like being greedy. Pocket fives, pocket sixes, ace highs, ace three suited, something like that. And he had pocket sixes, so nice hand. King jack eight, we want to use a large sizing, or GTO wizard does at least, so let's just do that. I'll go with pot. And against the check raise, actually the 10 is not a great out, so it's just, it's just a fold. Pocket sevens on that board, small bet is fine. Checking is fine, I'll go for the small bet. And uh, now I'll go for the check and go from there. Check calling once if he doesn't bomb it. Okay, I mean, we gotta call one here. Give up, easy win. Uh, the queen, jack, nothing, all right. Jacks, small bet versus high jack, clear three bet. 10 is good for him, eight is good for him, but obviously jacks are very strong. Actually checking is fine and betting is fine. Uh, I'll go with a half pot bet here. And now things get I see. I might go for the block bet, keep sizing down, or I go for the check, pray for the check, check, and then we are in a good spot. But actually, I like the down bet, attacking like sixes and sevens and 10x, and then go for the kind of safe check, check river, or put out a 10% bet or something like that. And facing that turn race is interesting. So this is like five, fours, four, five, six, seven, just all the time. And this is, ah. Uh... I said I want to play GTO, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just going to fold my jacks with spades here. This is a clear call, but can't help myself. I don't believe in enough bluffs here. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Ace queen offsuit, usually a fold in those positions or a four bet against that sizing. I think it's just a clear call. It's just too cheap to beat his hopefully pocket jacks. 
right? That doesn't look like pocket jacks, but we're definitely calling one. It's not necessarily going directional in. I mean, GTO is clearly calling one more. Don't think he has a reasonable range, but yeah. And here we hope we win. And pocket fives, nice one. Six cents suit on that board, we use a large bet to attack like his jacks, like weak aces, queen eggs. I think six cents suit with a both end like straight draws, backdoor straight draws plus backdoor flush draw is a very good one. Actually, we, we stab large here. And here on the flush card, I actually keep going even though I have the absolute nut low bullshit. I didn't want to exploit. Okay. And now on that nine of clubs, I just need to block. Jack 10 got there, my nines are not bluffs anymore. River should be fine to start bluffing again. Nice, 6 10 got through. All right, ace king of spades here. Uh, three bet against the mid stack from under the gun. Um, betting once. I think I keep betting. Attack pocket pairs. Checking is also fine, actually. I prefer the check slightly. Don't want to get jammed on. And now it's an easy check call because he has like jack 10, 10 9 potentially. And this jam. So 5 6 got there, 6 7 potentially, 9 10, 10 jack. Those are the bluffs. Backdoor like king jack of diamonds, something like that. I think this is actually call for that price. We just sometimes need to find a bluff. Price is too good and we just need to go with it here. Sometimes find something. And this feels good. All right, pocket queens here, cutoff versus big blind, not my board. Uh, so having a checking range here, pocket queens definitely a big part of the checking range. Can't put out a small bet, mainly check and then go for a one river bet. Try to get value from against a jack. Think we're good enough to go for three quarters. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. You've even seen in that session that it's good to go against your gut and just play the theory a little. Studying that it can be great and help your overall game. Head over to Poker Code. Uh, I'll, I'll see you there and we'll discuss some more theory strategy.